In this video, I'm going to show how to create a ranking of individuals based on random numbers. So we basically want to randomly assign values and then rank those. So for this example, we may have a, a question such as we've got, we're moving offices and we want to be fair with how we allow people to choose which office they want to be located in. And so we just want to randomly choose people and whoever's number comes up as the highest value they'll get the first choice for which office space they would like. So we have a list of names and we're gonna create random numbers and then we're gonna rank these individuals based on the random number. So we're gonna use the function rand and we put open and close parentheses and that's gonna generate a random number between zero and one. We'll drag that to the end of our row and this number will continue to change as, as the formula update so what I like to do is go ahead and at this point copy these values and then paste them as just values so now they'll be static they won't change in the following column we're going to use the function to rank them so we're going to do rank we'll use rank.eq and the only difference here is that if there are more than one value with the same rank the top rank of that set of values is returned so if there are equal values which is very unlikely and very improbable in, in this uh, with this function using equals rand uh, but in the, the case that does happen this will give us an option so rank.eq and we have to tell it which number we want to rank and then the entire list of values now as we drag the values as we drag this formula down in the column the selection for the entire values will change so we need to make these absolute references we can do that by putting a dollar sign in front of the row number so B dollar sign 2 going through B dollar sign 16 so our our number now will our ranking will go through the entire set and you'll see the first value the b2 in this case will change as we go through b2 3 4 5 so on but the absolute set of values that we're comparing it to will not change so now we have our ranks we can filter this we can add a filter here and then sort now that we have we will have them sorted by rank uh, so in in this example we'll see that tina has the highest rank than Alan, Stacy, Mike, and so forth. And again, this just is an example of using random number numbers to then generate a rank for these individuals.